Yeah, welcome to the next episode of the Java EE tutorial. Today I will show you how to use backbeans as well as showing different life cycles of a bean. We will start with our first app we created in the first tutorial, so if you have any questions about this project, check out the first video and as well as our class which is running with the app which will automatically be updated. And yeah, I throw off some things here from the body tag, I just uh, make it empty because we will fill up some new stuff inside here. So first we will start adding a class, a Java class in the Java resource. I will create a package, call it however, and add a class here. So this is a class from Java. To make it a bean, we create an annotation called managed bean. Now this bean uh, is known from a JSP file and we will uh, add a variable here. I call it number. It will start with one and yeah, we need a getter to show off the value in our JSP file. Uh, get number. So, turn the number. This is really basic uh, Java, and now we go here and use the expression language on an output text. So, we create an output text, and as value, we set hash, brace it, and then we use the bean name, so this is number bean. The first character must be lowercase dot. Now we use the variable name, we called it number, I just copy it from here, post it here, and now it will be shown in our uh, application, so we will call it from here oh I forgot to close the bracelets so again here is the one if I would now change this here it would change to two so if it don't change for you you maybe have to check down here if it's published otherwise you have to right click publish uh, I uh, took this option here that it's automatically published every time I save a file so it's automatically changing for me I will change this back now we will create a button so this will be a command button with an action this action will call a method from this bean. Oh, I have to create this method. I will call it increase. And yeah, I think it's obvious what this is doing. And then we will write hash number bean dot increase. And yeah, what will happen here? So we have to add something more. We have to say that this is a submit button. And if we now write this, we submit it. It's not actually doing something because we have to put this in a form tag because normally in HTML you can't submit something without a form tag. So now we submit and the number increased. Why is this? Because you click the nut button, the number increased is calm. You go here, it, it took it from 1 to 2 and then it printed out the number again. So if I click another one, it 
will do exactly the same. The bean is uh, again 1, it will add it up to 2 and yeah. Now we want to change this and this is the point where the life cycles came uh, into play. This bean is only existing for one single uh, call, so we call this method, it's increasing it, it's returning the number, then it's gone. The object will be recreated but when the next web, uh, load of the website. So we will add another annotation here called application scoped. Application scoped uh, will you will c make this bean live as long as our application on the server runs, as long as it's, as it's not redeployed. So if we save this and load again, oh. so now it's one. I can submit and it will count up to infinity, nearly infinity, until integer gets an overflow. And yeah. This is because it's application scoped. So there are some other lifecycle scopes. I will just show you. I will rename this to application just to make clear which bean it is because I will copy this to to other beans, which one is called session and a third is called request. So Request is the first. I will change. This is nothing different to uh, the default one, where it's uh, only living for one loading of the page, for one, one HTTP request. Session scoped is something, yeah, more wire variable. Uh, sorry, variable living it's living for each user as long as his session is valid uh, and yeah what exactly does this mean I will go here and make three output texts for each first for the application second for the request and the third for the session have to change this here. I'll just copy paste the class names out here. Request and uh, the last one will be the session. So now it would already print this out. So now we need to uh, yeah to call all the three increase methods by one time. So by one button which is not uh, working by default so we have to use some action listeners from JSF these are oh, first in our list and we have to say that the binding is to our oh, wrong phrase, it's to our application number bean and the increase method so we can delete this here no need for this and I will copy this three times so we call all the increase methods of our beans and save this so now we have our three submit buttons. Uh, yeah, that's that's quite ugly. I uh, will add some breaks here. So now we have our application, our request, and our session scope. If I submit this, ah, we get an error. Does not have the property. All oh right, I have to add some more brackets here because it's a function and we will we are on the page so now I call submit and all three went up if 
I click again, only the application and the session scope being went up. So those will wind up parallel in this session. And the request not going up because on every new load uh, the bean is recreated, set to 1, then increase, so we'll get a 2. If I now open the site with another browser, I show you here, the application value is the same, so we are at 10 on both sides, but the session, it's a new session here, so we are at uh, the starting of 1, if I click this, the request went up to 2, as we know. The session is at 2, the application at 11, and so it went on. We have 14 clicks in this session, we have 32, uh, 32 in all the uh, application, well, uh, uh, in all the lifetime of the application. If I now click again here, it's again on 26. I can just refresh this, so we are again on 26, 14 session clicks. 14 session clicks and yeah so those different life cycles are working I hope you understand it if you have any questions post a comment and I hope I see you soon